guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would make these cute little beaded strap phone charms that I've seen all over TikTok. They're literally all over my feed and I wanted to jump on the trend because I think they're so cute. So I picked up some beads from my local dollar store and we're gonna make some. So let's get into it. All right, so we're just gonna start with opening this. If I can get it open. That was so hard to do. All right, so a million years later, we finally got it open. So this one comes with a bunch of colorful beads and the string, which is the most important to this. So we're gonna start measuring this. I think we're gonna do 15 inches. That's what a lot of the tutorial said. So mine only goes up to 12 inches. So then we're just gonna start again. All right, so this should be around 15 inches and then we're just gonna cut it. All right, so now we just need to make a knot. A lot of them said to make a knot here. So we're just gonna do that as well. Okay, perfect. So we got this, super cute. And now we can start beading, which is like the most exciting part. I think I wanna do a pink and white pattern because my phone case is perfectly clear and has marble on it. So I think pink and white would complement it well. And then there's like these little heart letters. So I think I'm gonna spell my name in it. I kinda wanna make mine like symmetrical. We're gonna start with pink on each side. And then we're gonna do pink on this side. Ooh, should we do like two pink and then two white and then, ooh. I don't know. I'm bad at making decisions. I'm really indecisive. <laughs> All right, so we're now moving on to the white. Oh my god, this one doesn't have a hole in it. That's so sad. So I found my beads at the dollar store, but honestly, they're beads. You can really find them anywhere. And this is such like a cute and affordable craft, and it's nice to give to like for friends or like anyone, you know. You guys should make some for your friends. So these are the eight we have on. This is actually kind of cute. I kind of like it. What about blue? There's these pastel blue ones in here. That's so cute. I love pastels. Okay, so I think we're actually gonna put the little pastel blue ones in between the pinks and whites. I think that would be like a nice little color break. Cute. We love. And then we're gonna continue the pattern and go on to pink again. Hopefully you guys can see better now. I just moved the camera down a bit, so sorry if you couldn't really see much at the beginning, but we're just literally just sitting on my bed making foam straps, so. This is what it looks like so far. We just have symmetry, which we love. Okay, so now I need to debate like where I want my name on it, because I do want my name. Hmm, okay, wait, this is gonna come here. Okay, so hopefully this has my name in here. Hopefully there's all the letters. We found an E, here's an L. Here's me one, found an I. All right, so we got the letters, we're good now. All right, so which side do we want it on? The string is like too afraid to go through, oh no. What do people do in this situation? Don't they grab like a needle or something? Okay, we're gonna go find a needle. I found a needle. <laughs> I don't wanna stab myself. All right, we got the needle through. So I think now that just means we can thread it on and it will hopefully just go over. I don't know why I thought that would work. It's literally just pushing it down. Uh, I don't know how to do this. Maybe there's another E we can choose from. Let's try this orange E. Okay, the orange E went through. So I think we're just gonna stick to the right side, I guess. We got the M and we got the I. Hopefully the L works. Cool, so if you do this, um, I highly suggest getting like actual string and not string that like is like shredding into pieces. E-M-I-L, and then the last letter, look how bad that is. All right, so that's finally done. So we're just gonna continue the pattern on this side now. Guys, we're almost done. So I kind of just reached the end on this side. So on this side with my name on it, we're just gonna keep threading. Okay, so this is all done. So now we're just gonna try and tie it. We'll, we'll try our best. So we're just gonna tie off the ends. We're gonna like try and triple knot it just so it doesn't come undone. Actually, I'm just gonna keep knotting it until I no longer can. This is basically all done now. So we're just gonna cut off the remainder. I actually might just go like burn it or like run it under like a flame so it like melts into one. And then you can just slide the beads over it if you can. If not, I don't think it's a big deal. And this is the final product, super cute. All right, now let's apply it to my phone. So I'm probably just going to apply it right here where the speaker volume is. So we're going to thread it through the side and then we are going to gently pull the beads through without breaking it, very gently. 
And then once it's through, just gently pull on it. And there you go, it's attached. And cute, it's on, I love that. That's so cute and you can like hold it. All right, so that's the end of this video. I hope you guys found this helpful. I think these are super cute and I love it so much. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It will help me out a ton. And if you want to see more videos from me, you guys can hit that subscribe button down below. I upload every Saturday. All of my social media is linked down below. You guys can follow me there on Instagram and Snapchat. But yes, thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.